This is Hydrogen Tap 1 Series 3L. This is the 3L unit that's in the lab right now. I'm putting it through all the tests. This is the unit that I'm selling. There's your two water sensors, one high and one refill. As you can see, there's a little grime on top of it. It comes off very easy. Each sensor goes to a light, and the light stays on as long as there's water to that level. There's an excellent view of the seal that's around the top. That's the caulking material or corking material that goes on an engine block. It's working out really well. There's a good view of the plates. And you can see how they're anchored on the left side, and they're also anchored on the right side. The 3L series opens from the top, so you can make changes. On the bottom, it is sealed. The top is made of one half inch plastic. That's the underside of it. And you can see, again, it's real easy to, to drill that to make any upgrades that you want. The whole unit is made for upgrades and changes. Every time I've ever bought anything from anybody, I was saddled with what they have and no way to make it change, no way to make it work. The 3L unit I've made to do everything. There's a view of it on the inside. The 3L series is for someone like me who is trying to get this hydrogen energy working. The 3L is not for somebody who wants to go to the store and pick up something and put it in his car. That's not what this is about. This is the unit that will be going in my car, if not two of them. The 3L is capable of daisy chaining from one to the other. As I've mentioned before, you can put two 3L systems together and make it so one of them produces oxygen and the other produces hydrogen. That's the screw that goes through and anchors the plates on the right side. I've received lots of mail and a lot of people ordering the 3L series. I've tried to make it as plain as I can that this 3L series is for the person who wants to get into the race. There's a good picture of the hydrogen output port. That's a T. That cork is on one side of it right now, obviously. This lower end, what we're looking at right now is the through port that enables you to daisy chain to the next unit. I know a lot of people haven't thought about that, but with this port there, it really opens up a lot of opportunity. There's another view of the sensor electrodes on the outside plugged together. That's the, well, we call them an RCA jack that plugs into the water sensor on the outside. So you can go to the store and buy any RCA jacked system and plug it in there. What I'm going to show you now is how the water sensor works. I know a lot of you say you know how to do that. That's not what I'm about. What I'm about is showing you how everything here works. This is a relay, a solid state relay that works from 4 volts to 32 volts DC. Very, very sensitive. What I've done is plugged the input 
to the positive side of the battery, and the other side goes through the water sensor and comes back out and goes to the other side of the relay. The relay is so sensitive that you'll see what happens. It's wired to the red light. In a moment, those two clamps there that are about an inch apart, when they touch the water, the red sensor goes the red sensor light goes on. That's how the sensors in the 3L unit works. You can't just touch two ends together from a light and create that. It has to be done with a very sensitive relay or in the case of the 3L that I'm shipping, there's transistor that does this. If you want to go to hydrogentap.com, you can see more information on this. I've been updating it every day, trying to make it look better, showing you a lot of specs that people have been asking about, and a lot of the things I just have on my mind. There's a good close-up view of, that's a stereo jack. That can be used as well for a sensor if you wanted. Again, all that happens is the water crosses that black mark, which is nothing but an insulator, creates a circuit. Everything is easy when you see it done. It's a little harder when you're putting it together. It's a little harder when you're trying to stack these plates together. It's a little harder when you're trying to get all this material together. That's what the 3L is for. If you're interested, if you want to save yourself some time, the 3L is what you're looking for. Starting today, I'm not taking any negative feedback on the videos. I've decided it's just not worth that. The idea of the videos is so people like you and I can get together and discuss positive aspects of what we're doing and where we're trying to get to. From now on, I'm not going to allow any mail through that is nothing but garbage or negative. It's very easy to say, well, you're not interested in the subject. That's not true. I've got There are plenty of people out there who are interested in shooting all this down. I'm only interested in talking to those who are in, have the same interest as I am. There's another view of the throughport there for the hookups.